Brand new high-tech 7,000 series rail cars made their big debut on the blue line this morning and so far only one A-car train has been put into service. But riders already love it and our Mike Kinnean was there for that inaugural ride. When the state-of-the-art 7,000 series rail cars pulled into the Franconia Springfield Metro Station this morning, most riders were not expecting it and pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I ride every day anyway, but definitely I'll look forward to it more with a train like this. Uh, maybe I won't want to get off. A few who don't even ride the blue line intentionally came for this. It just takes my breath away. This is truly fantastic. Following NTSB recommendations, WMATA has ordered 528 new rail cars to replace the oldest cars in the Metro Rail system. Kawasaki which is the rail car manufacturer, is making these in Lincoln, Nebraska, and they expect to be shipping them at a rate of about 10 to 12 per month. Not just safer, they're also more attractive, with blue and white replacing that brown and orange color scheme from the 70s. Well, the old cars definitely were showing their age. The carpet's kind of grossed me out. <laughs> First impression, many riders notice right away the flooring is different, not with those old, dirty carpets. Also, these digital signboards show in real time where your train is located and other updated information. Riders also say they're happy to see the aisles are slightly wider and the seats are just a little bit bigger. So that's a good thing because I carry a big backpack. <laughs> so that's really, that's going to be great. Riders are also happy to hear automated station announcements. This is a blue line train to Largo Town Center. The next stop is Braddock Road. For now, 7,000 series cars will only appear on blue line eight car trains. But Metro says they'll start rolling out to other lines soon. In Springfield, Mike Kinney, ABC 7 News.